Hey guys, uh, the time's come. I got a new motor for my 2020 Ovale. Um, so I actually was not given a bike, but I have this bike that I purchased the motor out of and then the bike is leaving. Uh, someone's coming to pick it up tomorrow. So this is another five speed and um, it has a washer fix in the motor that uh, actually fixes the shifting issue on the five speeds. So not only did I buy this motor, but I bought the little washer deal to fix the motor that's coming out of this bike. Um, so this guy's coming to pick this bike up tomorrow. So this will be a, probably a two part. I'm gonna take the motor out tonight um, from this bike and then I might, I'll probably do a video of installing that washer fix in this bike. And then I might ride this bike to see if it fixed it before I put this motor into that bike. Uh, I hope that all makes sense. But, uh, so I'm just gonna go through this process. Um, first, I'm gonna remove the body. Uh, I might uh, start it up just to drain the oil but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. So I'm gonna remove the body, remove the exhaust, the carburetor, um, possibly drain the oil, and then go through uh, showing you how to remove the engine from these uh, 2020 GP Zeros. <laughs> So uh, first thing you saw is I took the bodywork off and then I got excited so I removed the carb and then realized I didn't start it to warm it up to drain the oil, which was stupid uh, because these have the oil coolers up front. There's these two oil lines that have to come off. So I got to drain the oil anyways and now it's going to be kind of cold and sludgy, which is just going to make the oil change a little less easy. Um, so I removed the carburetor, I removed the, the exhaust completely, um, I cut the, just this, there was a zip tie on here holding this, this is going to have to come off, remove the spark plug, uh, I took the throttle out of the top of the carburetor to remove the whole carburetor, um, and then in here there was on this bolt right here uh, a ground wire for the ignition coil I would assume so I took that guy off um, the linkage for my shifter was already removed um, just long story the guy who owned this is keeping parts and then sold the bike to someone and the motor to me <laughs> so uh, I think aside from this ignition cover wire um which i gotta trace up this way and just unplug it uh there's just the oh the chain also i'll remove the chain probably next um chase that wire down drain the oil um remove these and then just drop it out the bottom <laughs> to mention uh, in the last part of the video I loosened up the clutch play or the slack all the way out um, and it gave me enough room to just push push this forward and then you can pull out this little uh, tab from there's a slot in here once that's out um, you loosen this all the way off and then you could slide it through slide the cable back that way and it comes off so uh, the clutch is off I just took off, they're right here wrapped in a towel, the two oil lines. Um, off camera I drain the oil, I uh, let those drip, um, I put the bolts back in uh, for those oil lines just so I have them, and then I wrap these up, I let them drip, but I wrap them up so 
everything that's staying with the bike is suspended in the frame somewhere. So when I pull the engine out, it'll just fall down without getting caught or everything, anything. Um, but because that being said, um, I'm doing this because I'm giving it to someone else. But if you're doing it, um, this also makes sense to do. Every bolt that I took out, I put back into its spot. So you can see one of the body bolts is here. Um, these two front body bolts I put back in. Um, the rear belly pan body bolt is back in. I put the exhaust bolt back in. Um, I put even the seat or the gas tank and the seat bolts back in. Um, so this way there's no extra parts laying around. I put the nuts back on for here. Um, that way you don't have a whole slew of bolts that if you, you know, two, d two days go by, two weeks go by, uh, you don't know where the bolts went uh, or when you're trying to put the, everything back together. Now you know, like, okay, I'm going to put the body on, the bolts are in the bodywork. Um, so another thing I did is I removed the vent for the motor. And uh, like I said, I just strung the, the cord back up in here. It's actually sitting right there. Um, so everything should be free from the bike. Um, the next is actually removing the motor. So if I, I got a pan up here. Um, if I take you underneath here, there's this bracket. So there's four bolts that are on the motor. And then there's two bolts that go in the frame. And they're two different brackets. So first I'll remove probably these four that are in the motor. And then I'll remove the two on this side and this whole bracket will come out. Then there's a bolt right there. I'll take that one out. And then all that leaves is this one here and this one here. Um, I think I'm going to leave these for the last one. Um, because once all the back end is out, it's going to want to pivot down. Uh, and I'll probably put a box or something under the motor just to uh, kind of suspend it on. And then I'll remove those two and slide the whole motor out from the bottom. The engine's out. I hope the camera didn't mess up so long ago. Um, and that's all she is. Uh, I'm not going to put anything back on it because uh, this bike's going to someone without the motor and they're eventually going to put a motor in it. So uh, I'll leave it out. But uh, comment below if you guys have any questions. And uh, I'm going to have a follow up video, a part two. Um, I probably won't show the video taking that motor out um but i am going to open the side drain the oil open the case and see if i can put in that washer i have um see if i have it over here yeah so right here um so this company nortonmotorsports.com um if you google norton motorsports i'll actually put the link below he sells this part uh it's that's the product number and the Norton Racing Shift Star cap for the 195 speed. There's a little instructions there how it works, um, but it's literally a super small mini little part. That's it. Little washer, two sizes, through hole. So basically you pull off the um, I guess this side, I have to look at the instructions. Yeah, you pull this cover off and then there's a little shift star in there of where the gear shifter is. 
this ends up going between the case, I believe, or the cover and the end of it. Because what's happening on the five speeds is there's two little forks. And when you go to shift gears, the forks are actually missing the, where they're supposed to go. And they go into like a, a false neutral because they're, they missed the, the latching point. So this prevents it from slipping out uh, and it keeps everything tight. So hopefully I could just put this in and my other motor will be fixed. If that's the case, then this won't go in the bike. But uh, like I said, I'm going to show a video uh, installing that in the other motor, and then I'll do a test to see if it fits. If not, I'll have the install video of this motor going into the blue bike. Um, obviously, the process is going to be what we just did in reverse, but I'll have a, a, a video follow-up to come. Hope you guys enjoyed.